Today I'm going to show you how to use the Power Saves Amiibo as well as bin files for the Mac. I do not condone illegal activity, but people are going to do whatever they want essentially. The first thing you're going to need is the Power Saves kit, which comes with the toaster, which is the black box, as well as this power tag, which is the most important part you need it an instruction manual, and a cord to connect to your computer. You'll also need your Mac nearby and your Nintendo Switch as well. And you're gonna go to the website that they give to you to go to on the card. So you're gonna go to the website um, on Code Junkies and you're gonna download the file, but specifically for the Mac. And then you're going to try and open the file by double clicking on it. And you might end up getting this message that says that it can't be opened, but don't worry because I'm going to show you how to fix that. On Reddit, I found a video by Velocidrone that uh, broke down how to fix this glitch and it was really helpful, so please go check out the video. Um, I'm kind of going to summarize what he says, but there it is. As he mentions, what you're going to do is go to Finder, then you're going to go to Applications, Utilities, and then click on Terminal. And when you hit Terminal, this text window is going to open up, and then you're going to right click on your Power Saves thing and hit Show More Contents, click on the folder, and then click Mac Users. And you're going to see the file can't be opened because it's um, not accessible. So in Terminal, back in term Terminal of the window, you're going to type chmod space plus x space and then you're going to go over to the text file that couldn't be opened and drag it into the terminal file, uh, terminal window, and then hit enter. And it's going to convert the file, and so you should be able to give it permission now to um, open the thing. So once you've opened up the window and the download is working now, you're going to need to make sure that you have amiibos. Um, so for the power saves, you can use actual amiibos as well. Or if you're like me and there's a specific amiibo that you want, but the card is really expensive or you can't find it, you can look into downloading a bin file. I'm not going to put any links, but if you look up NFC Bank, that's usually where you can find files underneath the amiibo one. So that is kind of what I suggest doing. Um, and then you can download the files at your leisure of whichever characters you want um, to invite like to your village or Harv's Island. So this next bit's really important. You need to make sure that the folders that you create are underneath your documents area. So what you're gonna do is create um, underneath documents a folder. I created two to have things organized. So one, I just put the, um, the bin files that I wanted to keep in separately and then one was automatically created in the process of me doing so called Power Saves for Amiibo. If it's not automatically created, what you're going to need to do is create this file underneath documents, that's very important, called Power Saves for Amiibo. You might have to try out different types of spellings. I'll show some of the information regarding what's been presented by other people about how to do this. Then you're gonna go to the download folder and you're going to, um, double click on it and open it up so that you see the bin files and you're just ignore the like photos of the cards and you're going to drag the bin file into that folder that says um, power saves for amiibo or if you want to put it in a separate folder first to organize things then you can do that as well and that's how you're going to have them uploaded. Um, if it comes in a larger like folder, you have to, like with lots of different files in them, you have to drag them in individually. It can't be in in one big um, folder. And so as you drag them in, kind of like how I'm doing with Peanut, um, it'll pop up so that you can access it. Next, what you're gonna do is open up the power tag thing and have it all plugged in. And as I've said, like I had my organized photo folder so I dragged it into the power saves for amiibo one then on your computer where it um, is plugged in you're going to go to power tag and then all of the little bin files that you've uploaded you're going to see there you're going to click on the one that you want um, to upload and then hit the check and hit confirm restore each time you restore one the old one it will be swiped so keep that in mind um, that you have to redo it, recharge it every single time. And once you've confirmed the restoring, what's going to happen is the power tag specifically is um, going to register it, and then you're gonna be able to use it as an amiibo. Last but not least, in your Animal Crossing village or island, 
Um, at the resident services building at the Nook stop, you're going to go to the invite a camper, which is going to invite an amiibo to come. And you're going to run through the motions and um, hit yes. And then you're gonna take your power tag that's been charged up and place it on the little hand, um, like thumb controller, and then it's going to detect it. So I've been trying to get Deirdre, so this is my third day of having her come to my campsite and I'm hoping she'll move in now. Keep in mind, if you want to have villagers move in, um, they do need to come to your campsite three days in a row and you have to complete the tasks that they're asking for, but there she is. And it's so nice to have her.